Welcome back, folks. Uh, in a previous video, I showed off the Big Plans Print System Triple Z bed leveling gantry as installed into a Folger Tech FT5, uh, and that prompted some questions as to whether that could be installed into an X5SA. Well, uh, the short answer is yes. The Big Plans Print System is designed to go into Cube Style Core XY printers. X5SA is a Cube Style Core XY printer. Yes, it'll, it'll work. Now, the broader question of how do you install it as easily and cheaply as possible, uh, that is the topic for this video. Now, you may not recognize this, but it is a heavily modified X5SA400. Uh, nearly everything on the printer has been replaced or upgraded. However, the Z gantry is still 100% stock. Uh, now, out of the box, the X5SA uses a shared stepper driver for both stepper motors, uh, and that combined with a, a pretty flimsy bed platform and, and threaded rods mounted directly to the, the motor shafts uh, means you have a, a pretty unimpressive and high maintenance build platform. Now, this printer has already been upgraded to dual Z steppers, uh, but I want the Cadillac in here. I want triple Z stepper bed leveling on my X5SA. I've discussed mainboard upgrades for the X5SA in previous videos that I will link below. Uh, however, the, the Chi2 board that ships with the printer, or at least the board that shipped with my printer, uh, does not have a st enough stepper drivers for a 2Z stepper setup, uh, much less three. Uh, now, this video is going to assume that you've already upgraded your main board. You're gonna need to find a board that has at least six drivers, X, Y, Z, 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 and an extruder. Uh, I'm personally using the Big Tree Tech Octopus. However, there are other boards and other solutions, uh, but as long as you have six available drivers, uh, you should be good to go here. And I highly recommend that uh, if you do need to upgrade your board, that you do that first, that you, you get the new board installed and working with all of the stock setup before you go messing with your gantries and, and replacing parts and moving stuff around. So go upgrade your main board and get that all working with the stock setup and then come back to this video. You may even find out that once you get to the point of dual independent Z steppers, that's gonna be good enough and you don't even wanna bother with the additional cost and complication of a triple Z setup. Since Trunksy chose to mount the Z steppers on top of the bottom extrusion and then the threaded rods on top of the motor shafts, that means that your threaded rods are a lot shorter than your smooth rods. Uh, and that's fine. The Big Plans Gantry um, gives you a lot of leeway for the length of all these rods. However, if that threaded rod isn't long enough to raise the bed up to, to meet the nozzle, then we may have to get creative with some mounting solutions. And finally, the, the whole bed platform is a bit flimsy and, and awkward, and, and the bed plate doesn't have like a, a center drilled screw in the back. Uh, so we're gonna need to play around with how exactly we, uh, we mount this rectangular bed frame onto the three Z mounting points uh, for the, the gantry. All right, so I'm going to get everything removed and uh, I will see you when we're ready to put the parts back in. All right, so everything has been removed from the frame. Uh, it turns out it was much easier than I had expected because they didn't actually countersink the rod holes. The, the rods are just kind of sitting on the edge of the, the extrusion channels. So if you unscrew the top and the bottom of the rods uh, and then loosen the bearings from the bed plate, uh, then you should be able to kind of angle them enough to pull them out without having to detach either the top or the bottom extrusion. So great, much easier than I was hoping. Uh, on the downside, I uh, did uncover uh, an issue with the trunks. See, it looks like they tried to save some money by uh, using kind of proprietary plastic LM8UU bearings instead of like the, the standard aluminum ones that, that you can buy uh, pretty regularly. Um, of the four bearings in the OEM printer, three of mine were cracked in some way. So uh, I would highly recommend if you're going to do this mod, take the opportunity to upgrade to actual aluminum LM8UU bearings. Uh, I have them on order. Uh, I should be able to, to kind of stumble through this video with the cracked ones from the stock setup, um, but uh, 
would suggest that you upgrade given the chance. Now, a second problem uh, I've encountered with these bearings is that uh, they are slightly larger than the standard aluminum LM8UU bearings, uh, which means they would not fit into the standard uh, Big Plans carriages. I did create custom carriages that can accommodate these larger bearings. I'll link to those below. Uh, since they are kind of Tronxy proprietary, uh, they will not be part of the official Big Plans print system, uh, but it will be a mod that you can use to, uh, to get through using these cheap bearings. Do recommend though, go ahead and upgrade these things to the actual aluminum bearings because uh, they do seem like they're gonna fail one way or another in short order. So the, the Triple Z gantry uh, is comprised of three assemblies. There's a left, a right, and a rear assembly each of which are comprised of four printed parts. Um, each has a top and a bottom mount uh, for the rods, a carriage that rides up and down those rods, and then a motor mount. Uh, the left and the right are what I call three rod assemblies. Um, they require two of the smooth rods and one threaded rod. The rear is a two rod assembly with only one smooth rod and one threaded rod. Uh, now you are going to need rod clamps at the top and the bottom for each of the smooth rods uh, and pillow bearings at the bottom of each of the threaded rods. Normally I suggest if you're using threaded rods that you only secure one side with pillow bearings anyway. Uh, if you secure both of them and there's any imperfection in the threaded rod, that that can introduce binding and, and you know other uh, kind of precision issues. You don't have an option in Tronxy. The, the rods aren't going to be long enough to reach the top brackets, so you're only going to be able to secure them at the bottom. And that's, in my opinion, okay. Uh, if you're not comfortable with that, you can buy longer threaded rods, put pillow bearings on the top and the bottom, and, and be done with it. But for today, we're going to go with just the bottom pillow bearings. So now installing the assemblies is pretty simple. Um, the important part is the, the top mount and the bottom mount need to be vertically aligned. It doesn't matter so much exactly where on the X and Y axes uh, they reside, uh, as long as they are, are, are perfectly vertical uh, so that the bed moves straight up and down. I use aluminum corners in the sides of my extrusions of my X5SA. Since the top and the bottom share a profile, you can just kind of butt those up against the aluminum, uh, aluminum corner and you're guaranteed to be 40 millimeters from the front for both the top and the bottom on each side. The rear is a little more tricky. Um, you're probably gonna wanna measure that off. Uh, and again, it doesn't have to be perfectly centered. Uh, the important part is that it is perfectly vertically aligned, that the top and the bottom are vertically aligned. One thing to note is this gantry hangs below the bottom extrusions a little bit and the default X5SA feet won't lift the printer enough to install everything where it needs to be. So you can print these little corner risers to get the printer off the ground a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and install uh, all the assemblies and get everything ready to go and then uh, we'll come back when that's done. So the gantry is installed, all the motors are connected, everything's ready to go from a frame perspective. Uh, now we gotta work on the bed platform. Now, if I wasn't making this video, I would just drill a hole in the back of the bed platform, attach it directly to a 2020T and be done with it. But, uh, you know, if you drill into that uh, the stock X5SA build platform, you may screw up the heater. I'm using a silicone heater, but if you're using stock, you might screw that up, uh, either you know, break the heater or even short it, you know, which could lead to a fire hazard. So uh, we're gonna try to keep using the, the frame, the, the, the rectangular frame that the Trunksy came with and marry it to uh, this T-shaped extrusion. So this is how the, uh, the, the platform kind of sits on the gantry. Um, the 2020 extrusions align to the little balls in each of the assemblies, uh, and that's where we'll put those cup magnets uh, as soon as we figure out where exactly the build platform is going to sit. All right, so now the bed's all mounted up. Uh, the only thing really you had to do is uh, align the little magnets to the little balls. So the front of the bed is clipped on just using standard bed clips. Uh, the extrusions are sitting all the way at the front on the balls with the bed clips pulling the bed a little bit farther back and that almost perfectly aligns the bed to Y0. And then I used a clamp on back specially designed just for this, this piece of bed platform that was used for the, the, the Y direction. So by using that piece, you can, you can maintain the, the bed adjustment screws. You don't have to drill another hole through the bed platform as well as the cable chain mount. So you might look at this and say, well, isn't the rear of the bed sitting higher off of the 2020 frame than the front? 
and yes, absolutely, that is the case. Uh, doesn't matter here though, because the the tilt adjustment is going to adjust the rear to be whatever height it needs to be to make everything level. So it doesn't matter if it's you know one inch or one foot off of the 2020 extrusion. It's going to raise and lower that motor so that everything is level. Uh, so at the end of the day, uh, we did not have to drill through the aluminum plate. We didn't have to drill or cut uh, any of the, the stock bed platform. Uh, we're still able to use the, the cable chains. Uh, I think this is probably the most efficient way to mount the X5SA OEM build platform to this Triple Z gantry. So if you haven't set up the electronics before, it's pretty simple. Uh, all you have to do is go into your clipper config, add a third Z stepper, and then set up your tilt adjustment points and screw locations. Just need to make sure you get those things in the right order, depending on how you hook the motors up to the board and assign them in your clipper configuration. If you've done it for two motors, it's not that much harder doing it for three. Covered it a little bit more extensively in the previous video, so check that one out if you have any questions. Z tilt adjustments working perfectly well. Uh, first print came out okay. Everything looks great. I may end up cutting down the aluminum extrusions to stay within the the, the frame of the printer. Uh, I will almost definitely move to the aluminum LM8UU bearings. Uh, but other than that, it's it's kind of working great, uh, no problems whatsoever. So that's it for Triple Z bed leveling on the X5SA. Uh, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you like my other videos, go ahead and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.